Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Modded Fallout New Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch, and before we leave, we're going to talk to Doc Mitchell. I expect you'll be wanting to go outside after being cooped up for so long, but if you have any questions, I'll answer what I can. What town is this? Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Who was it that rescued me? That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Ah, so we were saved by a mysterious robot after being buried alive. Well, half alive. Do you know anything about the man that shot me? I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. Wait, 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 wait. If the, if you didn't see him, then how'd you know that he wasn't alone? What the, what, what, what? Okay, that's odd. Anyway, I guess we should go talk to Trudy now. You take care now. Since, yeah. To the saloon. Oh, and let's read this note, because it's plot important. Plot. Deliver the package at the northern entrance to... Deliver the package to the northern entrance to the New Vegas Strip by way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint. Take possession of the package and pay for delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency Prim. Bonus upon completion, 250 caps. Chump change, I can't believe I ever worked for that much. Manifest, this package contains one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. Contract penalties, blah blah blah, Mojave Express, blah blah blah, mercenary reclamation teams, blah blah blah. We are not responsible. Blah blah blah. So basically, we were, we were supposed to deliver this platinum chip, and apparently someone wanted it enough to kill for it. Plot. Well, I guess that's the premise. It, it, it blends together at this point. Come on, loading... Okay. Lights! It hurts! Oh, this is for another mod. It's yours. Uh, you can read it. You can read it. Yeah, DLC, 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 DLC. Ah, this is the modified version of Gunrunner's Arsenal with the mod The Right to Bear Arms by Poos Moose, my absolute favorite modder who makes the best quest mods ever. Uh, it, normally, Gunrunner's Arsenal only adds the new mo mods and weapon mods to select vendors. This actually fits them into the game in a more streamlined and an efficient manner, just like all of the weapons are. So they'll be in the loot lists and on enemies, etc. Okay, and there's probably going to be more pop-ups. I'm glad I actually add more mods uh, after, after episode one. And I had so many mods that the little ah uh, yeah the little pop-ups actually broke the opening scene. So yeah. Ah, uh, there's Victor. Let's go talk to him. <laughs> no DLC. Come on, Victor. And I'm slow. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? You have an odd voice. Well, thanks for dig digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How did you happen to find me? 
I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Did you know who those men were that who attacked me? That's kind of pointed odd. Or maybe I'm just odd. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Well, I'm not sure why I'm answering this, asking this question, though. We could tell there was some guy in a checkered... Anyway, how did you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway... It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it gets as fine a place to settle as any. I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Interesting. Well, goodbye. Happy trails! And that was Victor, the guy who saved the robot that saved her life, apparently. See? A little odd, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Anyway. Crates. Yeah, this red mark means if I take from this, it'll be stealing, and stealing is wrong. Except if it's from bandits. And here's this thing. You can read the message, I don't care. I never use them. Stealing. Aha! Crafting. Let's see what we got. Uh, we can, this is for crafting and breaking down ammo, obviously. The little reloading bench. I use this a lot, I have to say. And my own mod, FVCE, or Food Vending and Crafting Expansion, adds a few more recipes for the crafting system. There'll be a link. I can't actually read it since it's my own mod, and I, since it's my own mod, and I'll be biased. But I'll get into what it does later. It basically lets you adds recipes for a whole bunch of for a whole bunch of uh, drugs and food items, and it's all lore friendly and fits in very very seamlessly, in my opinion. Uh, you can go visit the mod page to see exactly what's added. That'll be in the description, by the way. Oh, and uh, we have fell out. In case anyone noticed, it's a environment weather mod. I give it ten out of ten, uh, just because it's well, it does what it's trying to do, and it does it well. It's very uh, seamless. Ooh, they go scars. What? Oh yeah, this is for the wasteland scarves mod. I actually have two that basically do the same thing and work together. I'll, I'll send you the link. Uh, anyway. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Do you, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fantasy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Well, yeah, he shot me in the face. Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. You're a prospector, like digging for gold and silver? Nah. Nah, means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Did you ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east of the river but got run off by raiders. 
eventually got too old to keep going out. What's wrong with the NCR? By the way, uh, I, as a character and just personally, don't like the NCR as a as a rule. Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Well, that's a lot of plot important information. A lot of this one guy. So what's so important about Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Mm-hmm. So it's, well, important. Uh, checking my time. What do you use the bighorners for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Do you know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Speaking of the schoolhouse, I have a very interesting mod that has a lot to do with the schoolhouse. And that direct that in and let's see. In that direction. That direction. Yes, that's the schoolhouse. We'll see that later. Now then. Uh, I'm pretty much out of time. So that was a lot of plot important information. I'll see you on the next episode. Saving. This has been James Seth Lynch. Goodbye.